Hi and welcome to the first part of our 10 part series on how to use your camera. My name's Matt and I'm going to be showing you all of your camera's key settings so that you can start taking great pictures. Today we're going to start by taking a look at how to set up your camera. Getting these first things right is important as it will help you get the most out of your picture taking. The first thing you need to do is to give your battery a full charge. Once it's charged, pop it into the camera along with a memory card and make sure that the switch at the side of the card is in its uppermost position as you won't be able to use it otherwise. Switch the camera on and now set the time and date. Once you've done this, find the format or card format option in the menus. This introduces the memory card to the camera and sets up the folders for your images and videos. This also deletes any images you may already have on your card, so make sure you have these saved elsewhere if you want to keep them. Once this is done, find the option to set the size and quality of your images. You should be able to select RAW or JPEG images, or both. If you just want images that you can use straight away, select the highest quality JPEG option. Only select the RAW option if you plan on processing your images later on. It takes time and skill, but if you put the effort into it, you can achieve a high standard of image quality. Next, select the image size. Providing you have a reasonably spacious memory card, select the largest option available. This will give you plenty of detail and will allow you to print your images at larger sizes or crop into them if you choose to process them. Now, make sure your metering mode is set to the standard multi-pattern or evaluative option, as this is the best all-purpose setting. This is what judges the exposure for a scene so that it's not too dark or too bright. Similarly, set your white balance to auto, as this should ensure that the colours in your scene appear how they do in real life, regardless of the conditions in which you're shooting. Finally, check to see if your camera offers some kind of image stabilisation, and make sure this is enabled. This may be found in the menu system or on your lens. Either way, it will help you to get sharp images in a range of conditions. Next time, we'll be looking at your camera's mode dial. For more tips and advice, visit us at Facebook, Twitter, or Google+, or visit our blog at wexphotographic.com forward slash blog.